A forensic expert was again on the stand during the Kristen Smart murder trial today. Dr. Elizabeth Johnson was questioned by Paul Flores' attorney, Robert Sanger. She talked about the test used to determine whether any blood was in the soil beneath Ruben Flores' Arroyo Grande deck. The prosecution's theory is that Kristen Smart's body was buried there and later moved. Earlier in the trial, another forensic specialist testified that the soil tested positive for blood. But Dr. Johnson told jurors those tests were likely false positives as blood would break down in soil after a short amount of time. She also said the test used can be affected by pH levels and the soil pH was never tested. On cross-examination, DA Chris Pavrell asked how long it's been since Johnson worked in a lab setting, and she said 2003 was the last time she worked full-time. He pointed out that was before the iPhone was invented, and Sanger quickly objected. Pavrell also pointed out that she's worked almost exclusively for defense attorneys for the past 20 years. And coming up in the next hour on KSBY News at 5, recently released court documents are revealing new details about the case, including other allegations against Paul Flores. KSBY News anchor Richard Gearhart dug into the arrest warrant for Paul's father and will have a full report. Plus, later on, you can catch another episode in our special Beyond the Headline series, where Richard Gearhart takes a deeper look at the Kristen Smart case. This evening, our special guest is Ed Olson, a Santa Barbara County DA investigator. You can watch that live on Facebook. That's at 7 this evening.